What's up guys? This is the Broken Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode, uh, we are attacking this Austrian force that's tried to flank around our forces and push towards Amsterdam. However, they are incredibly, cr incredibly badly depleted. So let's take them out. So we are still carrying on our operation to uh, slowly dismantle the Austrian front line and push forward. We've managed to secure Paris, but the, the Austrians have good strength in Western Europe. Our troops in the east are doing really well, and once our fortifications in Croatia are completed, that will be even better. Um, but just for the time being, we're going to focus on uh, driving in from the west. So we do have reinforcements for this battle, but they should not be needed. We're going to want to try and minimise losses so that we can maintain our offensive as much as we possibly can. So artillery position on this beautiful high ground right here. Infantry... I mean, ultimately, we might just let them come at us. We've got a super artillery advantage over them. Yeah, I think that might be a good option. Let my field marshal observe the firepower of his army. And let's get all my artillery to fire round shot. So all my artillery is going to focus on their guns. Ooh, good hits here. misses knock out enemy cavalry we'll get ready interesting our guns might be reloaded in time in order to engage with shrapnel shot oh yes they will be Shell exploded behind them, but a couple further ahead got them. Awesome. Okay, everybody switch to round shot, bombard the carabiner. The light infantry are going to be within range. Engage them soon. Fight a volley, but now they are under fire themselves. The skirmishers will start picking them off. Okay, they're engaged in a skirmish war, they're not in a position to win right now. Oh, it says they're doing good work. They demolished one gun. Just get people to engage as normal. Skirmishers can advance up the flank. Get my heavy cavalry to advance up the left. Their infantry should fall fairly quickly. It's all quite badly depleted. The enemy is mounting up. Carabiner are back, but they're being picked off by my skirmishers. There we go, they've broken. Need to be cautious of the enemy Swiss pikes. There we go, mass movement of the enemy guns. Destroyed two howitzers. units of Swiss pikes. There we go. Oh, they're starting to engage. Got a reasonable amount of infantry firepower to bring to bear where skirmishers can engage or will engage imminently. Here they come. Let's get away from Ridden of Horse to chop up the Lambert Militia. Okay. 
this may be send my cavalry to go mop up their artillery it's all mounted or it's all limbered up rather quite a good blow strike against the enemy they seem determined to uh, pursue my cavalry Cavalry, come in, mop out the enemy. Not really worried about most of their force. See these guys, because they didn't charge, they got picked apart by my skirmish fire. All my artillery, engage the general. Bit of friendly fire here, never hurt anyone. Horse artillery. Ceasefire the artillery. Well, I mean, we can commit if we like. Let's see if we can kill that general. Got him. Go for the gun team. You kill that last time of our militia, artillery, blast that regiment of Swiss pikes. Go for the line infantry, not the militia. To wait for those guerrilla mercenaries to come out of their little hidey hole. Come on, skirmishers, run! You'll get him. Kill that last Swiss guard. Awesome. The e men have to run around the enemy. Artillery, all of you cease fire. Everybody else, slaughter the enemy. Awesome. men gang up on the Swiss line. I think the guerrilla mercenaries are probably going to escape. We're not going to make people run around just because there are stakes lying around. Yes, it was the guerrilla mercenaries. We can let them escape, that's okay. We've still made a significant victory happen. Oh, ratios of 10 to 1. Delicious. Regiment of Force right up top. Gain no experience for 200 kills. Back you devils go into the safety of Hanoverian territory where we can't chase you. You chaps replenish and then advance towards Munster. Sir, your orders? Okay, you're... you're Pretty good strength, actually. I think Ronald Babington may push on to Marburg. Just bring these two Austrian armies to battle and see if we can clear them out. Then hopefully try and cover um, that bridge to the west, and then the army to the north can drive southeast. We might be able to cut the all of these Austrian troops around Paris off from reinforcement. 
we may be able to isolate them in the west which would be pretty awesome okay we must be where where the enemy reinforcements are coming in okay so let's set up a bit traditionally put my heavies or my elite infantry to push through the town skirmishes are going to advance on the left in the open ground it's going to be all of my cavalry is going to go left now it's just going to open up with quick climb shots quite rapidly everybody else advance up broadly like so you just need to position but all of my cavalry is going to position to defeat the incoming threat so you're coming into charge already so form square Form square as well. Make sure the howitz is providing a bit of close support. The e man drop in his square. Let my cavalry fight. As they wish for now, they're only against Hussars and Freikor. The skirmish cavalry are going to take a lot of these off their horses. Only about four or five, actually. The enemy cavalry have been defeated. Knock this corner off here. Household cavalry down to about half strength. They're gone completely. my elites at howitzers start retargeting these troops my cavalry and my skirmishes are managed to clear off a lot of their cavalry let's switch my foot artillery to start engaging the reinforcements coming in my howitzers will attack the center of their force Household cavalry may come back. So we're engaging with the Freikorps cavalry. Okay, the enemy the enemy Freikorps cavalry is engaging us. Let's get one gun to engage them. they're engaging my regiment of horse yeah, there's the house of cavalry drop these two units in squares get my howitzers to attack the enemy infantry here Push the infantry out to engage the back of the guardsmen. There we go. My line infantry units are engaging. Expat infantry have been seen off. Keep picking off their new units. Shotgunners are running. Good hit, right in the middle of them.
then my elites up to pursue these blunderbuss toting hoodlums. Yep, cavalry lines holding its holding its own quite nicely. Something like that. Direct hit into that militia unit. To be honest, it looks like that might be the end of them. Commit all my artillery ceasefire. That's the general unit, that's why they're not keen to engage. Well, let's speed up time while that's going on. I want to focus on the non-militia units for now. Not to re-engage the enemy general. There's no point in being coy. Let's just kill them. They're running forward to try save their men. Going to continue ceasefire artillery. Maybe it's an enemy captain. Awesome, and you guys. There we go. You guys kill the shotgunners. No, I thought you guys were coming to help. More friends, more pathfinding. Shotgunner. We let him get away. Still, this infantry's done for, that's for sure. Chomp. Got him. Nice. Okay. That's a couple of the smaller Austrian armies destroyed. We actually lost more men in that action than we did the previous one. Okay, we're going to raid the Pleasure Gardens, raid the university. I'm going to push up, but not in. You guys are going to push up this high ground here. What are you going to do? Austria, what are you going to do? You're going to hold the bridge just to see in case they do anything sneaky. Okay, Orleans, let's get a church school. Although we probably have one somewhere, don't we? Nope. Awesome, okay. Let's get investing in Paris. Let's get this territory shutting out some cash. So here in London, you've got your cavalry, you've got your wood artillery, you've got your howitzers, you've got your sharpshooters, you've got some infantry. Probably do with a bit of that. And one infantry unit from here. Anything more? Awesome. Then Jareth Polgrove is ready to rock and roll. Andrew Finch, you can start to build up another. And then 32 pound howitzer, 24 pound howitzer, foot artillery units, recruited guerrilla mercenary unit, recruited light infantry unit, and then that's probably going to be enough for you. Cool. Okay. We're not going to do any fighting around here. That's all pretty good. Um, in Zagreb, we're going to wait one turn to get fortifications. Then we can get some. We can do some really interesting things here with all these Austrian armies nearby. We may be able to lure them into um, some offensives against us, where we can just quick loan that out of them and then hopefully push out quickly. Um, but for now, everything seems pretty good in the Americas. Make ready, ready and awaiting orders. Your army is growing. Forward, march. It's nearly everything you need. Ready. 
With this last unit, it will be everything you need. You've got some recruitment to be getting on with. That's grand. I mean, I anticipate these US volunteer infantry not going to be super useful, but they're going to get us some policing bonus, which is pretty awesome. Right, navy is continuing. Navies are continuing to grow. But really, I don't think we need to go overboard with the navy stuff down here in India. Do we want to attack sooner rather than later? I think what I want to do is maybe cancel all of your recruitment. Probably jump after Mysore. That'll blow quite a hole in their budget. That'll, that'll cause quite a lot of problems. I mean, Goa we can deal with reasonably quickly, but we don't. We really want to wait till next turn for that. Um, actually, I might. Okay, I might. Might seize them for a turn then. Yeah, just make sure that you're recruiting. Sure. We're getting some spare cavalry. Yes, sir. At the ready. Okay, and we might attack no, no, no. some of these smaller Indian forces just to clear them out of the area, just so we can try and maintain a bit of a bit of an offensive push in this. Theatre, because yeah, we really don't want to get caught out by. We don't. We don't want to start getting swarmed by the Marathas. We've got a good foothold. We want to make sure that we, if we've got space to expand, that we expand into it. Especially if it prevents the enemy from um, reconstituting their forces. So my elites are the ones that are depleted. So they're going to be... Well, a lot of this stuff's going to hold behind. The general, on the other hand, is going to commit. So you want to try and hit, kill some of their troops. Let my artillery open fire on their artillery, most likely. Okay, we killed their gun. Get my foot artillery to knock out their general. Howitzers just plink at the rest of their um, troops in the field. Actually, it's everybody plink at their horsemen. We can knock them out, that'd be ideal, because they're the only ones that can kind of interfere with my plans for the cavalry. Okay, they're advancing up. Keep moving forward. Start to bring the people in. Oh, they're engaging the artillery still. No, go off to this bad boy. Kill these army swordsmen, human dervishes. Your general's getting hammered. 
That goes the general. That goes the light infantry. Cease fire. Charge in the back of these dervishes. There goes a the unit of Islamic swordsmen. We definitely want to kill them. Probably want to go after them first with my general. You know, unless they're going to route the same way they do, that's really helpful. And then right will continue. Awesome. Okay, let's not ignore what I just said. Let's go for these Lightning Swordsmen first, because they are the better unit. Awesome. You men go after those dervishes. One guy left. Oh, he's going to escape as well. Unless he stops to fight me. No. Still, I'll take the win. We need to just keep sweeping up these small pockets of troops, especially when the damage to us is quite small. So we can reinforce without much problem. Then this small unit of troops can push out to deal with the remnants. Um, let's not worry about keeping you all intact. We can just combine you all. Then only replenish the smaller units. More orders. Excellent. Okay, there to the south. Um, ultimately, actually, I might pull you out to replace. That would no, that doesn't really work. We need that weak unit. Waiting for your orders. Abraham, Abraham Pitt. Forward. March. Make ready. Immediately. Sir. Move you forward to engage this force to the south in the brothel. And let's sweep away another Maratha army. So I think we're at a point where we can stage a bit of a breakout here in eastern India. And we can break out, try and support the troops in the south and the west as much as we possibly can. And then march onward to victory. Then once we clear out India, we're going to march through Persia and start attacking the Ottomans from the eventually the west and the east. So my artillery can go on a small bit of high ground. Up here is going to be marginally better. Maybe, maybe not deploy my weakest infantry unit. Maybe keep them behind, defend the guns. Let's keep my skirmish, some inf uh, melee infantry with the guns, some melee infantry, melee infantry on the other flank. And the bulk of my cavalry on the left. Everybody open up as and when they choose. Maybe make my line run a little bit. Try quick climb some of the bigger chunks of troops. You men halt, engage, Sladar lances. Kill the good number of them. Oh, you guys brought your charge off. 
everybody else is going to be doing just fine, however. Push my skirmish cavalry up on the left flank. Come on, you men. Ford Mill Square, quick! So the Dalances are broken. 134th are shattered. Even Ben in charge of the Hindu warriors. I might make my general view the lances just to try to stop them from regrouping. Who hit you? Dervishes. You can deal with dervishes. That's okay. Even advance towards the general. I mean, that's actually kind of dangerous to do that. Odds are they come back. Inset the polygar. Inset the swordsman. Okay, right. What the hell is going on over, over on the right flank? drop the squares because the lancers are trying to get a rear charge off Grossier in against the Polygar. Not many of them. Uh, you men all focus on the camel mercenaries. I mean this armed peasant unit's gonna collapse quite epically. And the native warriors are gonna wield enough ratchet power. Oh, yeah, there we go. The lancers are broken. Nice. You can engage the camels. Oh, it says brown shot the slid on answers, I guess. My tribal auxiliary engaging their camel mercenaries, who are camel mercenary morale is really poor. Push my infantry up to capture the terrain. Don't let them regroup. Artillery, all of you ceasefire. Gunners, ceasefire. Grassier, charge the camel mercenaries. Because camels might have a bonus against cavalry, but against Grassier, Grassier don't care. They will have your camels. Most of their units are retreating in pretty poor condition, so we're probably okay to let them run. Yeah, that force is it's it is destroyed. Awesome. So Mr. Pitt, you can reinforce and head south. Ready. Scouts push towards Hyderabad. There's no one protecting it. They don't have anybody in this part of the world. You, Mr. J. May advance on Nagpur. Katak, just keep recruiting. Can you form square? Just recruit a bunch of sepoys because you want to make sure we don't run out. Your humble servant. So you might hold just in case. Apart from that, I think we're ready to hit end turn and see how the AI freaks out. We're due to get 136,000 next turn. That's awesome. Our president's pretty pretty terrible. There's not a lot we can do about it. <laughs> I could uh, get a new government, but I don't think it's worthwhile. My priests are advancing towards their new grounds. Their new fields ripe for the conversion to Protestantism. It'd be awesome if you did something, Spain. Instead of just letting me do all the heavy lifting. If they don't attack us near... Um, 
they were well, in Croatia, then they're in, then Austria is in trouble. Oh, that raiding army's back. Oh, you're gonna go raid a lone Russian lone um, American ship. There they are. Rats. Not that it really matters. Continue to raid as much as you like, that's just fine. Lots of their troops are retreating to the towns and the cities, that's okay. Uh, that's an auto resolve for darn sure. So is Cologne ours now? Um, do I want to trigger an assault? The answer is perhaps, just because that's quite a good, it's quite an advantageous engagement for us, I think. Yes, let's. Bring them to battle, prevent them from messing. That's all we can really do. It seems to be working though. The enemy seems content to rush into our uh, loving embrace where we can annihilate them. So this is going to be another handful of Austrian troops that aren't going to make it uh, to the west to reinforce. Ooh, it's a river battle. Even more fun. Although we may get flanked horrifically. So let's keep my horse artillery up on the hill. They are the most glorious um, the most glorious counter battery unit you can get in the game. They're just very good. Something like this. I'm a bit loath to keep three infantry units near this this um, bridge, but it's okay. Cavalry deployed back, ready to respond if we get screwed in deployment, which is entirely possible. No, awesome. Yeah, you're kind of in range. I've already deployed troops over here. I am a goon. I don't. I have no idea how I didn't notice that. Well, you men, just make your way over here. No rush. Light cavalry sharpshooters. Actually, come around this way. Horse grenadier guards. You can hold here just in case. Where's their artillery? There it is. Looks like you're in range, fella. Oh no, you're not limited up. I didn't unlimber you. Makes sense. Sars, Fusiliers, Field Regiments. So at some point we want our heavy horse howitzers to start engaging via quick climb, but for the time being, well, that's a bit weird. Just letting them get hit. I thought that was quite long range for artillery. Engage the cuirassiers, see if we can prompt them into attacking early. There we go. Artillery away. And this is. Really in quick 
climb range. Okay, now they're ready to charge. So we've got some sharpshooters on the line. They're going to do a real number on these fellas. Volley away. Down to 54 men. Angriff! Yeah, they didn't like that. Interesting that they are attempting to try and actually push the bridge first and foremost. You could you see how long it takes horse artillery to engage the bridge. Flattening it is better. Destroying it is better, rather. Carabiner are pushing out. They might just kill a bunch of their hussars. Guys, not fancy charging. Fair enough. It's just out of range. If I run you forward, you can start skirmishing with their cavalry. Stars have retreated. Kirasier are letting fly. Quick line misfired. Oh, they've ceased their offensive. Their advance. Gunners, play your barrels. There we go, oh, they're shattered. Yeah, it looks like we're actually okay, we can just bombard there. Infantry directly ahead of us. Actually, you in? You are within shrapnel range. A couple of these guns are ready to fire. Guns away. Shells away. Excellent hit. Two excellent hits. Shrapnel shots are good. probably do want to engage that horse artillery unit just to stop it from achieving some easy kills on our troops. Although, let's limber up. Pivot, destroy the bridge. Hussars that are coming back, Swiss Mountain Jäger. Good hits. There we 
go. Pivot. Let's try knock out this bridge. It looks like they are kind of reinforcing it. We hit the Mountain Jaeger, even though they went invisible, because they are engaging our troops. We managed to engage them because we attacked them before they went invisible. Okay, let's unlimbo. Spin those guns around. How does your ammunition stay? They're all okay. Okay, a bunch of troops coming in. Swiss Pikes, Mountain Jaeger, and Line Infantry. In. Advancing in one large blob. Let's make sure. You guys are engaging the bridge. Although you definitely carry on engaging that line of infantry. Good damage on this bridge, but it just takes a bit of a takes a bit of time. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Still some reinforcements coming in. Okay, let's engage the guerrilla mercenaries on the bridge rather than the bridge itself. No, that doesn't help. They're all targeting. They're all pivoting away. Have to engage the bridge. We're getting a bit thin on the ground. Switch to quick climb and just start annihilating the enemy. Okay, now they're starting to break on the bridge, which is quite nice. But they are under cover, so destroying the bridge would be better. Especially if all our guns are firing, but they're not. Just easier to make them engage a conventional target. Actually, they're shooting over there for some reason. So, who's advancing in? Line infantry, 13th Regiment of Foot. They've been a they're getting hit by canister shot. Volley fires coming in. There we go. Shattered already. Okay, so my heavy artillery should deal with this infantry regiment well enough. It looks like we're probably going to be able to chase these guys away. My light infantry is starting to try to pick them off. My line infantry is doing okay. Somehow. General's bodyguard advancing in. 
Maybe my uh, maybe my full artillery here just fire at will with shrapnel shot because they've got they can do a lot of damage. Grenadier Guard unit because they are in a perfect position for quick line. Here we go, now they're coming in. Why, if you might make the shotgunners route, no, they're coming back. Many, many dead men on this bridge. Still not enough to make them run. There we go. Blunderbuss shotgunners are gone. Excellent. Get my heavy artillery to engage the provincial cavalry. Now their horse artillery is broken. We've only got a handful of actual troops here. Scythe down the guards. Quick ones obliterated the guards. I'll probably break them, surely. Brave men. Continuing to pick off Fusiliers. They can't make up their mind. Artillery. Engage the General's bodyguard. See if we can assassinate their general with a well placed artillery round. Oh, the gunners are back in action. Fired a short round. Got a few. Missed them. Fusiliers are coming back in. 98 men remaining on their march. Despite the cover, they are being scythed down. Fired a volley, but let's see if they stick around. Focus on the general. Foot artillery is still engaging. There you go. Now they're broken again. You can't trap or shot the general, which is very sad. Venture Cow fancies their luck. They're exhausted. It's, it's, it's tiring work dying. They come to the general's bodyguard. Fuse layers are finally broken. Foot artillery engage this unit of line infantry. Get them to break. The general's gone. Get the line infantry guard unit. Engage the provincial cavalry. this side try get my horse grenadier guards up we're going to continue just ever so quickly we're not going to send everyone forward if we don't really need to I'm not really I'm only targeting a handful of units The 86th Regiment of Foot. 26, 24. Oh, no, nope, they're going to get away. Excellent. You guys can also get up. Oh no, they're going to escape. Still. Got a, got a few kills. It's always nice. 
Excellent. Good victory for our forces. That's another good chunk of Austrian troops annihilated. Back you go, you devils. See, they can retreat back into Hanover, and that's okay. Prussia's sending troops around. It looks like they're kind of, they're potentially angling to head towards Austria. I don't think they're going to. We are good, true Protestant allies. But I still don't think they trust us. Maybe it's our conquering and all that jazz they don't like. Naples and Sicily are moving in. Got plenty of ships. Okay, so now the Marathas are upset at what's just happened. Uh, the garrison at Mysore wants to sally. That's awesome, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the USA. Cheers, everyone.